I am gonna go do a little bit of shopping today. I need to get some organization bins from Muji uh, to organize my like vanity drawer. I also need to get some toners and some skincare stuff because I ran out during my trip. So I'll be stopping by Olivium, which is Korean Sephora, and just getting some face masks because treat yourself, you know? I don't want to have so many bags to recycle later, so I am going to bring this with me, and that's pretty much it. I might honestly get demonetized from this. The things I do to keep you guys entertained. Articulate, aren't I? A food content creator. Mm. Mm. I just find it so cringy sometimes. Wow, the firm tofu from the pressed soybeans, it really reminds me of my childhood when my mother pressed me to go to college. I love you, mom. This was me when I was 18. I'm gonna tell you in a moment why it gets stretchy, okay? Let me just sit down. Ready to tell you why natto is stretchy. 
Okay, so natto is fermented by adding a culture of Bacillus subtilis, var dot natto, to steamed soybeans. The stickiness and the gooeyness of the dish comes from the natto bacteria because it breaks down the proteins into components such as glutamic acid. I know this because I'm a food science major and I spent four years of my life learning this at an Ivy League school and spent almost $400,000 in Google. Um, I'm gonna be gassy. That's why living alone is good because I can fuck whatever I want, baby. So I got these two skillets because I don't have a skillet this size. I actually just have one skillet. And I've heard good things about it, so. and stuff. I am gonna um, tame it? Dude, what's the word for it? Hi. Oh my god, this might be the most exciting haul video. You season it. Season this bitch. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna season this, but not in here because the smoke alarm is gonna go off. So I'll season this outside sometime tomorrow. Next! I have a bigger version of this. And it's 26 centimeters. The skillet I have is a little bit too big for my induction. So whenever I cook something, the sides don't end up heating and like it just becomes kind of undercooked. Bro, I don't know how to do these videos. What do you say? I'm also tired and grumpy right now. I got two t-shirts. What the heck? Does this have armpit sweat pads? I didn't want that. No. No. This is not what I wanted. Fuck! Dude, why would anyone want a freaking demarcation line of what their armpit sweat could potentially show? After all that we've been through, if there's one store I could die and live in forever, it would definitely be Muji. And I'm never ever gonna get sponsored by them because they don't do any sponsorships on YouTube. Because, you know, their they're dick's already swinging. There's no need. Yeah, the black one is not as obvious, but like it is still kind of weird though. Like I didn't notice it when I, or maybe when I wear it. Oh, okay, that's why. So when I wear it, like the, this part, it goes in so it doesn't show. Um, oh, Muji, you have not failed me. Okay, I like these. Up next, we have some socks. So many of you guys were teasing me about only wearing the Nike socks, so I got self-conscious and bought like 10 socks. Some kitchen cloth, and then I got some pants, some more socks. Oh, and this, French linen scarf. So that when I sweat during the summer, I can at least look fashionable while doing it. Like that. Am I ever gonna wear this? I don't know, but I bought it. I kinda like it. it looks a bit funny, but it's my lie. Fuck you. Sieve, because I didn't have one with a handle. And some bowls, because I have an addiction and it's not curable. I needed some soup bowls, because I didn't have any soup bowls. Another bowl, a potato peeler, because the other one that I have, it's not this kind, it's the one you do. So it's really difficult to peel anything else. So I like the design of it, super simple, super easy. I like Muji because I'm a weeb. Like I can never admit it because I'm Korean and it just goes against my ancestral roots, but I love Japanese products. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace out, A Town. Well, apparently, this is how kids in Korea like do like the V now. Like it's this. Like this is the cool way of doing it. That's what the cool kids do. <sighs> I'm gonna take a nap. Hi. <sighs>
Be small, baby girl. My apartment is kind of messy right now. I literally cleaned all morning, but I still have to finish up a little bit. So I'm gonna go work out, buy myself some nice flowers because nobody wants flowers in a messy house. Then that's just junk. I'm gonna buy flowers as an early gift for myself for having a clean house. And uh, I'm gonna get started on my day, haha. <laughs> How is this my actual job? I fucking suck at talking into a camera. I like wildflowers. And that is all I had to say for today. Thank you for today's vlog. I'm gonna organize my vanity. I have so many like samples that I stole from hotel rooms because I'm Asian and I'm cheap. This is why we make money and why the future is in Asia. Wow, if the roles were reversed, that would sound so wrong. I take that back. This is my terrace which is actually really nice and the biggest reason why I signed this lease. And I've come out here maybe a total of four times. I was thinking about getting like nice grass and some like plants and herbs, a little like garden situation going on, but uh, didn't end up happening. I just don't think that I would be a good mother. Babies scare me. Plants scare me. They just die on you so quickly, so fragile. And if I can't take care of a plant, how am I supposed to take care of a mini living human being? So before you have babies, I'm a huge believer that you need to know how to garden. I'm going to season my skillet outside and I don't want the smoke alarm to go off. So I'm doing it here. So what I'm doing right now is trying to burn off some of the coating from the factory because we don't want that. I am going to put the oil in and kind of clean it so um, if there's any impurities between the cracks and between the holes, just like you. You can also do it in an oven, but it's going to be really smoky and my apartment's really small, so uh, I'm just doing it outside. See? It's like becoming white. And you want to do it on all sides. There's really almost no need to own like coated frying pans. Yes, they're easy, but you could just use this too and it will like your eggs will glide right off. I find that using coated pans, like after a year or two, it just becomes so scratched and you have to throw them out and it's such a waste whereas you can like use steel pans forever. Um, I left my carbon steel pan at my ex-boyfriends and um so he, he 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 stole it let's see if this muji ones are decent a seasoned pan and a seasoned bitch this is just grapeseed oil you see why i can't do this inside eh and i want to get the sides as well so I do not recommend you doing this like me, without gloves and protective gear. Use tongs. Don't be stupid. I 
and your handles will get hot, so you should definitely have oven mitts. I do not own any because I'm so cheap when it comes to buying stuff for the apartment because I don't want to hoard. Which doesn't make sense because I bought like 10 bowls from Muji. Anyways, this is what the paper towel looks like. We could have ingested that. And we don't want that for our bodies because our body is a temple. <laughs> and I'm going to repeat the process a couple of times so that I know for a fact that the oil has penetrated through and it becomes almost this non-stick quality. Yeah, my neighbors are definitely gonna think I'm so weird. They have no idea how I make a living and like what job I have. Nobody really knows who I am. I stay at home all day, almost every day. And uh, I am hella awkward when I see people. And uh, I stay in the top floor and I order so much freaking food all the time. Like they definitely think I'm like a hik hikikomori. Which is like one of those people that hoard a bunch of stuff in their rooms and they like have so much trash and they just live in their own filth I mean not so far away from what I already after I get oven mitts I'm gonna do the handles but right now this is most I can do do it for the smaller one as well So the key to good fried rice, it's all about moisture control. Make sure you use day old rice so that there's no moisture on the rice so that your fried rice doesn't become mushy. Yes, but sometimes it becomes too dry like it was before. And if that happens, it's okay, don't panic. What I like to do is put oyster sauce and some water, dilute it out, and then just use that to kind of like get all the fond off the pan. So that's my little secret trick. And it caramelizes on the bottom too, so you get that really nice smoky flavor and it's so good. So good, wow. Mm. Mm.
잘 먹겠습니다. 음! 아이 러브 마쉬움즈 I need something sweet 아이스크림 아이스크림 I'm really happy I found these. These were discontinued for a while. Like this is literally like, oh my God, it tastes like my childhood. I'm so excited. I haven't seen it in years, but it might also be the reason why this was freaking 3,000 won. Like it's so expensive. Usually ice cream is like 700 won. So this is like, this is luxury. This is Chanel. It even has a little spoon. There we go. Looks like quartered tampons, but these are so good. And it's like different flavored ones. So it has strawberry, grapes, and lemon. Mmm, so good. Not that calories matter, but it's only 16 calories too. And we love being a spinny legend. This shit's crack. So that's all for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Good night. Bye bye.